Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today we are on week 5 of our Jewels of the Nile crochet along. It's been quite the journey and we have made it all the way to Aswan. We visited the old cataract hotel which looks out over Elephantine Island and we also went on one of those little river boats to go to the Philae Temple and we had a wonderful time looking around there. And if there's one thing I really really love it's pillars. Okay, and these ones were just so glorious. I loved looking at all the individual designs of these pillars. Okay, so we are ready for Aswan Row X. And for this week too, I recommend you stay with your bigger hook. I have finished in a chain row. Row 121, you have finished this also in a chain row, but in eucalyptus, okay? So now I am going to start using pumpkin because that's the first color of this week. So for row 122, we are going to do as one X in pumpkin. So let's put our color through and we're going to chain one and turn we're going to do a double crochet in the first stitch so let me just do that wherever you can get in that's fine so this is the first double crochet in the first stitch we will also be doing a double crochet in the last stitch so that leaves us with 190 stitches to be divided over our chain spaces here so I've worked out how many times you have to do four double crochets around the chain space and how many times you have to do five double crochets around the chain space to, in the end, with your two double crochets on the end, end up with 192 stitches. And I'll tell you that in a moment. But <laughs> for our sampler here, it's going to be so simple. All you have to do is put four double crochets around each chain space. I'm so happy that that one works out. <laughs> so that's what I will be doing in a moment. I will be doing this row and I will be placing four double crochets in each chain space. But if you were to do that in the big blanket, you will not have enough stitches. OK, you have 41 loops. So you need to make sure you divide 190 by 41 and it just doesn't work out, but I've worked it out for you. OK, so we are going to place four double crochets around the next loop. So let's do that first of all. OK. So four double crochets around the loop so there we go now you're going to do that eight times so you do it again and you make sure you have eight groups of four double crochets around yep, your chain space okay so one two and you count to eight once you have your eight you're going to start doing five double crochets so let's do five I'll have to undo this later on, but never mind. <laughs> Three, four, and five. And you do this five double crochet around the chain space for 26 times. Okay, so count them, mark them. Maybe put a stitch marker here so you know where to start counting. So eight lots of four. 26 lots of five and then you will see that you have seven loops left over and around those seven loops you are going to place four double crochets again okay so do your best <laughs> count your groups of five double crochets and in the end make sure you have Counting your stitches here at the end as well, 
make sure you have 192 stitches. So I'm just doing my last double crochet here. And of course, yes, I have counted and I now have my 62 stitches back. So hopefully you will have your 192 stitches back as well. So make sure you follow the link in the description box below to the table of colors in our website. And you will see that after as one X, as we are used to, there were X rows. We now also have as one Y row. The reason why we have a Y row is, of course, because we have now got our count back. And the start of the repeat that we're going to do now is going to be different, is going to be attached to this row, while in the rest of the week it will be attached to you know, the row of its stitches itself. So we just need this row to get started again. We are not going to look where these stitches are placed here. All we need is the Vs. We're just going to look for the locations on top of the stitches into the Vs, and that's all that we need. So as long as you've got 192 stitches in this row, you are good to go, okay? So let's pull the buttermilk color through for as one Y, row 123. So chain one and turn. And now we're going to do one double crochet, one chain, and one double crochet in the first stitch. There we go. So now our repeat starts. So we look at the Vs. We are going to skip two, one, two, and in the next one, we are going to place a double crochet. Then again, skip two, and in the third stitch, we are going to place, yeah, just checking, <laughs> one double crochet, two chains, and one double crochet. Then we are going to repeat this again. So skip two, one, two, double crochet in the third stitch. Then skip two in the third stitch. You're going to place a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. Skip two, double crochet, skip two and we do a V made up of a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. And this is what your row looks like. So this is how you're going to continue and I will see you at the end of the row. So I've made it to the end of my repeat. I am now going to add, skip to one double crochet in the third stitch. Now for my repeat, I'm going to have nine Vs. Uh, you are going to have 31 of them. Okay, so make sure you count them to see that you have 31 Vs. And then you will have to make sure that you finish with a half V at the end as well just like we started so we're going to do one double crochet one chain and one double crochet in the last stitch so now that we have done as one x and as one y we are going to go over to doing as one one and as one two <laughs> So the next row is 124 and we have teal for that. So we are doing as one one from now on and that will be followed by as one two. So pull through the color, chain one, we turn and we're going to do a double crochet in the same stitch. There we go. Then we are going to do two double crochets in that first chain space here. Two, three, 
two double crochets there we go and now we are ready to start our repeat and it's putting five double crochets around the chain two spaces once again we are working in the v's and we are going to be placing five double crochets in them one two three four and five and we go to the next chain space one two three four and five there we go and we continue like that all along the row so i've made it to the end of my row here this one was my last five double crochet shell then here of course I have to fill that half a V and we are going to be placing two double crochets in there and then one double crochet on top of the last stitch and of course we keep the two loops on our hook. You have now created 31 shells and two half shells and we are ready for as one row two. So the next row is going to be C green and we are going to be doing row 125 C green and it's as one row two. So pull through the yarn and we are going to chain one turn and we do one double crochet, one chain and one double crochet into that first stitch making our little V just like we did here and now we are going to start our repeat so we skip two and we are going to do a double crochet between the shells this time okay so place your double crochet between the shells then we are going to skip two one two and then here, this is the third stitch of the shell. That's where we're going to place our V. So a double crochet, a chain two, and a double crochet into that third stitch of that shell. Okay. And now we are going to do a double crochet in between the shells. Then a V on that third stitch double crochet around a V onto the third stitch V's are made up of double crochet two chains and a double crochet there we go so this is how you will continue your row and this also is how you are going to repeat these two rows so these two rows here were just to make the transfer from one week to the other these here row one and row two that's what you will keep on repeating so the double crochet around the location between the two shells that's what you will be doing throughout the rest of the week okay so i will see you at the end of the row So I have made it to the end of the row. I just need to finish off the row now. So a double crochet in between the shells. And then here we are going to do one double crochet, one chain and one double crochet on top of that last stitch there to create our little V at the end. And ready for the change of colour. So there we have it. So these are the two rows, as one row one and as one row two, that you are now going to keep on repeating throughout the week. So make sure you get the table of colours from our blog post. <music> Now, 
Now, when you've done row 150, come back to this video because you need to do another row to just finish off your blanket. OK, so I will be here in a moment to show you how to do the very last row of the body of the blanket. And then, of course, next week we're on to the border. <music> When you have done all your 150 rows of the Jewels of the Nile blanket, you will notice that, of course, you end in a shell row. And this isn't straight. So we're going to do a row 151 in cinnamon, so the same colour as we started, to just straighten off our row. So let's pull the cinnamon through. Chain one, turn, and we're going to do a double crochet in the first five stitches. So that starts with that very first one here. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one here. Now you will notice that you end just before sort of the highest stitch of the shell. And if we were to do a double crochet there, obviously we would have the wave again. So here we are going to do a half double crochet. Not only that, we also have to make up our stitch count. So we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. So on top of the middle double crochet of the shell, you are going to do two half double crochets. Now we have, with this, started our repeat. And our repeat is that we do four double crochets now. So in the first four stitches, we are going to be placing one double crochet each. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then when we get to the highest point, we are going to be placing two half double crochets in there. There we go. And as you can see, look, we now have a nice straight line above our shell row. So this is how you are going to continue. Four double crochets in a row. And then when you get to the highest point, you place two half double crochets in the next stitch. And I will see you at the end of the row. So now I have a little bit left over here. So I've finished my repeat. I'm now at the top of the shell. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in there. And then I have one, two, three, four, five stitches left. And so those are four double crochets until the end of the row. So you will be doing one double crochet in the last five stitches. Yes, <laughs> that was the last stitch. And of course, you can pull that one through because that's the end of our stitches for the body of the blanket. Oh my goodness, what a journey it has been. So yes, cut off the yarn and well, <clears throat> you should maybe count <laughs> to make sure that you have your 192 stitches back again, okay? So make sure you count them. I'm going to make sure I have 62 and then off we go on to next week because we will be ready for the border. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!